What's going on guys? Welcome to the best graphics settings video for Flight Simulator 2024. Now, geez, this one was a big one. Um, it did take me a while to get this and the servers have been absolutely dog. So I apologize for the delay in the video. Um, and there's a lot of settings on this game and I didn't realize there were so many settings. But as you may know, if you've been on this channel before, if you're new here, what we do is we go through the graphics as, graphics as quick as possible. Uh, and then what we do is go down below in the comments and comment our PC specs. Um, but I can't promise that for this video because there's so many different things that is just it's mind-boggling and we don't know where to go and we don't know what to do. But anyway, straight into it. We're going to go display mode, full screen. Resolution, whatever your resolution is. Your anti and TAA. Render scaling, 100 and so with AMD. V-Sync, we're going to have this off. Uh, NVIDIA, reflex low latency. I've put it on, on plus boost, but you can just have it on if you've got it. Uh, we're going to go to dynamic settings. We're going to have our frame rate target to 120. If you've got a 120 hertz or above monitor, this is what you want to have. If you've got anything less, just set your target as 60 if that's what your monitor is, yeah? Anyway, let's go down to the, <laughs> the big section. Anyway, first, terrain level of detail. We'll put that on 200. Uh, I know this is a bit higher than it sets its value itself, but... We want this on 200, just trust me guys, it, it works great. Uh, Off-screen terrain pre-caching, we're gonna have that on high. Uh, displacement mapping, we're gonna have that on. Uh, buildings, we're gonna have that on high. Trees, we're gonna have that on uh, medium. The plants, we're gonna have that on low, and same with the rocks. Uh, grass, have that on medium. Objects, a level of detail, so a lot, we're gonna have that on 100, don't change this, guys. Volumetric clouds, let's be honest, you're in the sky all the time, so the most thing you're gonna see is, uh, you know, clouds and stuff. Um, so have that on ultra and if you do want to change trees you can do but this does impact performance quite a bit because there's quite a lot of trees uh, texture resolution we're going to have that medium anastrophic filtering we're going to have that on 8 uh, texture super sampling we're going to have 4 by 4 water waves um, I don't know how close you guys get to water but I haven't really been that close to it so I've put this on medium uh, ray tracing shadows now this is a big impact in um, performance so I'd, I'd you know cautiously put this on but if you've got a decent computer then put it on uh shadow maps we're gonna have that on 1536 terrain shadows we're gonna have that on 256 uh contact shadows we're gonna have that on medium windshield effects obviously we're gonna have that on high ambient occlusion we're gonna have that on medium uh cube map reflections we're gonna have that on 256 ray marched reflections we're gonna have that on medium light shafts on medium to, uh, depth of field we're going to have that high motion blur again this is personal preference i have it on low but it does make you feel more immersed if you have it on higher but i'll put it on low so you guys can choose whatever you want there uh glass cockpit refresh rate now this is this one is just like what you see out basically glassy cockpit as it says in the title but put this between medium and high guys uh play with this setting to find whatever you suits you best but i found medium suits me best uh, character quality i have this on medium don't really look at the characters that often i like to fly planes not look at characters uh traffic airport quality i have this on high air traffic will have that on low uh road traffic have it on medium sea traffic i have that on low and fournier will have that on medium also i'd like to say go to the online section down here is it in the online section yep yeah, online section what we're going to do is we're going to put the rolling cache limit to 32 gigabytes with wherever your path is mines and ifs uh then the consumption bandwidth make sure this is all set to high uh, we're going to go up here as well i've put the um air traffic type on real time and if you want as well put the multiplayer on and show multiplayer aircrafts in close proximity if you want to see the aircrafts because you just see the game attack otherwise but i want to see the aircrafts uh, and then obviously all this is just down to what you guys want to do if this has helped guys don't forget to leave a like a subscribe to the channel and a comment down below of your pc specs if this worked if not tell me what worked for you and what's the difference between mine and your settings mine worked great for me you can go and see in the description my uh, graph uh, my uh, pc uh, specs but yeah thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys